Well, hello everyone. It's Ron Suchu, the creator of Synergy Art, the new art form, Synergy Art. We're actually uh, watching Prakash John uh, paint. Uh, this is the third video of his uh, painting, the Synergy Number no. Two. Uh, we will be doing 30 paintings with famous people. Once that we started with uh, Dan Aykroyd, we moved on with now with Prakash John, who played bass for Alice Cooper and uh, formed the band out of Toronto. The Lincolns that played for um, Wayne Gretzky's wedding, and uh, many, 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 many other things that Prakash has done in his life. So anyway, the, the painting is dedicated to the, the native people of, of, of North America, and because of that, he uh, what happens in the in the synergy real quickly is uh, I start a background in the favorite color of, of my synergy partner, and then I let them see the piece, and they get inspired, and then they just almost like kindling wood for a fire, they actually start drawing on the, my canvas. And it becomes our painting at that point, and they do, uh, they start the whole story going for the canvas, and uh, then they sign it before I leave. I was at in Oakville, Ontario for this one. And uh, then uh, they, they sign it, and then I leave it, and I go back, and we finish it off. That's what I'm doing right now, is I'm working on the main uh, uh, main uh, detail of the painting is this large uh, eagle's feather, and that is uh, dedicated again to the uh, the natives of Canada, and North America. So anyway, the the, the feather uh, I, I I love it because a lot of people don't want to. They, first off, it's funny because they don't want to touch the canvas because they think it's their uh, not theirs, it's mine, but it is theirs to work with. So I get them. I try to make them feel very comfortable very quickly and go ahead and do whatever you want. You can't mess it up. And I know uh, Prakash really did feel like every time he touched it and his son, Jordan, who will be doing the next one with me, he's actually a, a musician that tours with uh, David Foster in Japan and stuff. And, but they, uh, they always think that they're going to mess it up and they, I, I just don't think it's possible to ruin one of these paintings. So then the painting comes back with me. It, it, I did the background. They did a bit more on it. They actually sparked the, uh, the actual story. And I come back and I look at it and it starts to tell me a story. And I always refer to my canvas as the third party in the synergy uh, uh, creation, synergy painting creation, because uh, I would do one part, Prakash does another, and the canvas definitely talks. And uh, for any artist that out, that's out there and they don't understand that part of it, it's very, very simple. And it's probably one of the key parts of, as far as I'm concerned, of great art is to actually be able to listen and watch the canvas and, and, it's, and see what it's telling you to do. Wouldn't matter if you're doing realism or abstract or whatever. You know, if there's a balance point that's not working, your canvas is telling you that. If there's a color depth, the, va the value of the color is wrong, it's telling you. Just like I just did there right now is... I needed more contrast. The canvas wanted it. It had to have it. And if I don't pay attention to it, it doesn't turn to, out to be, and I'm going to hold my hands up in parentheses here, world class. We do want to do something as close to world class as we can when, we, when we're painting. Uh, the nice thing on this one, uh, Prakash told me the story of the painting, and he also called it True North. And that's done in English, and it's also going to be done in the Cree language on the painting. And uh, Prakash signed his name in both English and in Hindi because he's from India. And um, I'll be cleaning that up a bit for him. He had a little trouble because he's not accustomed to using a paintbrush to sign his name. So, but anyway, it's, it, the pieces are really wonderful. I feel this one is almost, it's not really obvious, but there is quite a, a group of seven look to it right now. The long brush strokes. Pakash and my wife also after I brought it back because he said he saw the northern lights behind a, a line of trees and you see the line of trees right where I was just working those big black blobs will actually become uh, really uh, kind of round trees in a tree line as I go along here. So enhancing the colors, there I go, I'm enhancing 
the letters, I, uh, I just want them to be nice and noticeable for people when they come up and it's easier to read. And also, I wanted them to kind of look uh, as if you saw them maybe on a cave painting. That doesn't make sense, but you understand what I'm talking about. It there's, should look more symbols than letters, right? And anyway, so the next time I do this, the one, the piece to the left, the looks like a tree is going to be a couple maple leaves. I'm going to end off right now. Come back and watch me paint those, and we'll see you later, guys.